Hello and welcome to day two of our strength journey. Let's start at the top of our mat, feet hips distance apart, arms down by the side. Let's inhale, sweep the hands up above the head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, take both feet back to plank. Let's hold it here, spread the fingers nice and wide. Feet hips distance, turn your core muscles on here. Hold it, you can always lower the knees if you need to. And then lower the knees and tuck the toes. We're going to lower halfway down, so bend the elbows, keep the elbows tight to the chest, and push yourself back up. Two more times. Down, and up, and down, and up, and now come all the way down onto your belly, hands end up next to the chest, inhale to your cobra, exhale back down. Okay, let's move the hands down by the side of the body. Thumbs facing down, so palms facing in towards your body. Ground up for your pelvis. Take a big inhale here. And then lift everything up. So your hands are reaching back towards your feet. Feet are lifted off the ground. Looking towards the top of your mat. Use those back muscles here. Pull that chest up. Make sure that you're breathing. And then relax back down. Bring the hands next to the chest. Lift back up onto your knees. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Look towards the top of your mat. Big step or little steps come into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up. Come up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back to plank again. Hold your plank pose. Couple breaths here. Now keeping your toes where they are, drop your heels to the right, lift your left hand up towards the sky. Keep those hips lifted, left hand comes back down, come back through centre, drop your heels to the left, right hand reaches up. Right hand comes back down, full chaturanga this time. Come forward slightly, lower halfway, all the way down to the belly. Arms come down next to the side again, thumbs pointing down, ground down through that pelvis, lift everything up, reach backwards with those fingers, lengthen through the neck, ground down through that pelvis, lift those feet, Make sure you're breathing. And then release everything back down, hands next to the chest. If you can here, I'm not very good at this one, but tuck your toes under, just being honest. Lift your knees up, see if from here, you can push yourself up to a push up. Personally, I can't do that yet. If not, come onto your knees, push yourself up and then tuck the toes down with facing dog. Always good to give these things a go. From here, we're just gonna bring the knees down to the mat, but bring them up quite close towards your hands, just so you can kick your heels to one side, sit down, Bring your legs out in front. Okay, we're gonna roll down onto our belly here. So hug the knees in, gently roll down. 
and then bring your knees above your pelvis, lower legs parallel to the ground. Arms are going to come up from the ground, again palms facing in, so thumbs facing up this time. From here, we're going to lift your head off the ground, lift the top of your chest off the ground. Now, if you have too, a lot of tension in your neck, use your fingers here just to support your head a bit, okay? You're still using your abs, your core here to lift your chest up, you're just helping to support the neck. Stay here. And then from here, we're going to see if we can straighten the left leg, keep it hovered off the ground, bring it back in, straighten the right. Bring it back in, straighten the left, bring it back in, straighten the right, bring it back in. Two more times each side, left and right, and left and right. Bring your legs in, lower your head, hug those knees in. You're gently rocking side to side. Okay. Toes together, knees wide, palms together in between your legs now, okay? So from here, froggy squats, not squats, uh, froggy crunches, that's all. So toes together, knees wide, palms together, we're going to lift the upper body, see if we can reach as far up and forward as we can, okay? And then back down. You don't have to come all the way back down though, you don't have to rest your head. So we're going to do that five times, so one, two. Three, four, and five, and hug those knees in. Gently rock side to side, just loosen that low back. Okay, one more down on our back here. Hands are going to come flat on the ground. You're going to cross your legs, so one leg crosses over the other as if like you're sat on a chair. Now from here, I like to tent my fingers because it gives me a bit more support. We're going to lift up our hips from the ground, okay? So if you'd like to watch for this first one, actually it's probably best to cross your leg, feet, sorry. So cross your feet over so that your legs can stay together, otherwise they're going to be flailing all over the place. And we're going to lift up and then reach your, straighten your legs up above your head and down and up and down. So you're pointing your toes up towards the ceiling, not behind you. Okay, so up and down. Let's do five of those. So let's go one, two, three, four, and five. Hug those knees in. Well done. Plant those feet flat on the ground. Maybe we'll screw wipe the legs, so drop them to the right and to the left. And then find some stillness, maybe keeping the legs bent up, feet as wide as the yoga mat, knees dropping in together. Maybe hands on the belly, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Close down the eyes, let's just take a couple of deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, you can roll over onto one side and slowly push yourself up to seated. And that's us done for day two. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow for day three.